All right, here, we're done brainstorming. We've got maybe three people we want to do. We're still looking, you know, kind of around. And hopefully, you know, if you didn't during your selection of your three people, um, you should have kind of Googled them and made sure that there's like credible websites out there. And we'll look um, later on here. Once we narrow down our topic here, we're going to look at um, what makes websites credible and um, what websites you want to use to write your paper and what you don't want to use to write your paper. So we're going to look at plagiarism right now. Okay, so under story, uh, you're going to see that we have a little video from, this is a TED Ed video on plagiarism. It's kind of cool. Um, it, it's kind of confusing at first, so just kind of stick with it. But basically, it goes over, you know, when in doubt, just kind of cite your source. When you're writing a research paper, if you don't know if you're plagiarizing or not, cite the source. At least protect yourself so you don't get accused of plagiarism. Uh, so it says, click the link below and go on a plagiarism scavenger hunt. Use uh, scavenger hunt. Use the links provided on the document to find your answers. Make sure you use red text for all student answers. So we're going to go ahead and open this in Microsoft Word. And let's look at this. Plagiarism scavenger hunt. Please use red font for all answers. You're going to put your name right here. You're going to put the date, and it says use the following websites to locate the answers to your questions below. Uh, what does plagiarism mean? All right, so I'm just going to kind of hold control on my keyboard in order to access all these links in Microsoft Word. Um, so go ahead and do that. Um, and it's basically just kind of a scavenger hunt. You only have five links to look through here. I'm going to say most of it. You're going to probably use this one for most of it. Um, your definition for plagiarism is in there. Give at least two consequences of plagiarism. Hopefully you know, at least in my class, what one of those consequences would be, and that's a zero on your paper. Uh, name some common things that students plagiarize. Uh, what is an online paper mill? I know you guys know what those are. Uh, why are online paper mills bad? Uh, give uh, the name of one popular pla plagiarism checker, and there's a couple up there actually. Uh, what must you do in order to use someone's exact words? Um, hopefully you know that you should use quotation marks and then cite it with parentheses at the end. Uh, what does copyright mean? Name four things that can be copyrighted, not copywritten. Okay, excuse me. So let's go ahead and go to one of these and kind of see what we're dealing with here. Um, this one right here has a lot uh, having to do with uh, plagiarism. So let's go ahead and check that out. I have to kind of move my, excuse me. All right. Um, so here we are. This is a uh, paper mills uh, link, but it has a lot more over here on the side. Um, it says why students plagiarize, promoting academic integrity, plagiarism prevention. So paper mills, you know, I can answer the question about paper mills right here. What are they? And here's some really popular ones. Um, don't worry, I will know if you use any one of these. Not saying that I did, but I know exactly what these would look like. <clears throat> Maintaining academic integrity. Um, so if you look at this, it'll say like a definition for plagiarism up here too. All right. Um, so it's in a, uh, commitment. No, it's right here. Why students plagiarize, I think, is your definition for plagiarism. Right there is your definition for plagiarism. Um, and that's another question in that document. All right, so we've just done two here in this very short video. What you want to do is just kind of click through the links on this document um, and then answer these questions in full, complete sentences, please. And then go ahead and turn this in. This will be worth a, a couple little points. And it's a, definitely an important part of this little project. Um, we'll provide lots of example documents on research papers. Um, with correct citations so that you guys can um, have a finished product to actually look like. And I'm actually going to write, you know, my Britney Spears research paper with you while you're doing your research paper. Every little video that I do here is going to advance my actual research paper here um, that I set up, you know, a few steps back with you on this quest. All right. So that's this video. Um, nice and short.